हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम दैट वी डू इनकाउंटर एलर्जिक कंजेक्टिवाइटिस टू हैव सम इची सेंसेशन इन योर आईज और सम फॉरेन बॉडी सेंसेशन सम ग्रेटनेस और दैट फीलिंग दैट समथिंग इज देयर इन द आई व्हेन यू डोंट हैव एनीथिंग इन योर आई इज अ वेरी वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद रेडनेस एंड देयर कैन बी एसोसिएटेड फोटोफोबिया और सेंसेशन टू लाइट these are some of the very common symptoms that we do encounter with patients suffering from allergic conjunctivitis this can both be seasonal that we do see in patients especially in the summer season or perennial uh, conjunctivitis perennial allergic conjunctivitis which we do see in patients all over the year the most common predisposing factors are dust pollution and inappropriate use of these screen devices these are few of the very common causes that we do encounter where we can have these problems related to allergic conjunctivitis or another predisposing factor is exposure to pets when we don't wash our hands and we keep on rubbing our eyes and because of these allergic conjunctivitis we can have a constant desire to rub our eyes or itching these are few very common problems that we do encounter now when we talk about the treatment for this a very important factor to consider is use of cold compresses we can use some ice packs to which we can place off on our eyes that gives a very good soothing effect though the effect is short lasting but it gives a very good effect in terms of the symptomatology that the patients have then there are certain drops like anti allergic drugs lubricants and some soft steroids can be used but all these medications have to be used on the prescription of a doctor only because some of these drops can have their own associated side effects then we can use some glasses which can cut off the allergens or the dust to some extent which can give a very good protective factor for all our patients when we talk about how to decrease the incidence of having allergic conjunctivitis episodes so what we can do for that is we should frequently change our pillow covers our bed sheets whenever dusting is happening anywhere we should avoid those places we should avoid those places where the dust is flying like in the sense any construction sites or all those places they should be avoided the screen usage has to be limited limited because that induces dry eyes which again is a risk factor for itching so all these things do have a role exposure to pets has to be limited and if at all we use pets then we need to wash our hands properly we can have humidifiers at home or we can have purifiers at home which improve the air quality at home which again can be very protective in terms of symptomatology another factor that we do encounter in the present era is the use of these uh, hand sanitizers that also increase the incidence of allergic conjunctivitis in patients who are already having episodes of allergic conjunctivitis hopefully this all information should would be useful for you and your relatives and you'll share with more and more people so everybody can make use of this information thank you mm-hmm.